Hello and welcome to my video about Maskin, the fast port scanner that can scan the entire IP4 internet in under 5 minutes. If you're interested in security research or just want to learn more about how Maskin works, then you're in the right place. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the inner workings of Maskin, including its key features, advantages, and disadvantages. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Maskin is a powerful port scanner that is capable of scanning the entire IP4 internet in under 5 minutes. It was developed to achieve maximum speed and is designed to run on a stable 10 gigabit link with a custom network driver for Linux. In comparison, it can take weeks or even months for traditional port scanners to complete a scan. One of the key features of Maskin is that it implements its own TCP IP stack, which is designed specifically for port scanning. This allows it to bypass many of the limitations of the TCP IP stack provided by the operating system. For example, a regular Linux machine can typically only handle around 300,000 simultaneous connections, and requires a lot of RAM and CPU to maintain such a high number of requests. By contrast, Maskin's TCP IP stack runs in the user space and makes use of raw sockets, which allows it to bypass many of the internal checks and optimizations of the operating system's TCP IP stack. Another advantage of Maskin is that it uses libcap, which is a library that provides a portable interface for packet capture. This allows it to capture and transmit packets with extra optimizations, such as packet underscore map, and makes it easier to port Maskin to other platforms. When using Maskin, it is important to keep in mind that it generates Ethernet frames directly, rather than relying on the TCP and IP stacks provided by the operating system. This means that Maskin can bypass many of the security measures that are built into the TCP IP stack, such as firewalls and intrusion detection systems. However, it also means that Maskin can be detected by these same security measures if they are configured to look for unusual or malicious traffic. Overall, Maskin is a powerful and efficient tool for port scanning, but it is important to use it responsibly and to be aware of its potential risks. It is particularly useful for security researchers and network administrators. Advantages of Maskin There are several advantages to using Maskin for port scanning. Speed As mentioned earlier, Maskin is capable of scanning the entire IP4 internet in under 5 minutes. This is significantly faster than traditional port scanners, which can take weeks or months to complete the same task. Custom Network Driver Maskin uses a custom network driver for Linux to achieve maximum speed. This allows it to bypass many of the limitations of the TCP IP stack and make millions of connections per second. Raw Sockets By using raw sockets, Maskin is able to bypass many of the checks and restrictions of the operating system, allowing it to send and receive packets more efficiently. Custom TCP IP Stack Maskin has its own TCP IP stack that is optimized for port scanning. This stack runs in user space, reducing the number of syscalls and CPU interrupts required for each connection. Easy to use, Maskin is easy to use and has a simple command line interface. It also comes with a set of scripts for common tasks, such as scanning for web servers or proxies. Disadvantages of Maskin There are also some disadvantages to using Maskin. Requires physical access. To use Maskin, you need physical access to the device you want to scan. This means that you cannot use it to scan remote devices over the internet. Limited to Linux, Maskin is only available for Linux, so it cannot be used on other platforms such as Windows or Mac OS. Risk of detection, Maskin generates a large number of connections, which can be detected by network security systems. This means that it is possible to get caught while using Maskin, especially if you are scanning. It is important to note that using Maskin without proper filters can be risky. If you scan certain parts of the internet and the owners of those networks do not take kindly to it, they may come after you. This could potentially lead to legal consequences or even cyber attacks against you or your organization. It is always a good idea to be mindful of your actions when using tools like Maskin and to use proper filters to ensure that you are only scanning networks and devices that you have permission to scan. Conclusion So there you have it, a comprehensive overview of Maskin and how it works. As you can see, Maskin is an incredibly powerful and useful tool for security researchers and professionals, but it also comes with some risks and potential downsides that you need to be aware of. If you're interested in using Maskin, be sure to read up on best practices and use it responsibly. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more great content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.